Indigenous owned land in Australia is approaching a quarter of Australia's land mass, about 25% when you include all of the land under various land rights regimes as well as native title. And what we've done in the Carbon Farming Initiative is as much as possible to provide a pathway of direct access for all Aboriginal and Torres Strait landowners who own their land. So that applies both to, say, freehold titles that are held under land rights regimes as well as native title holders who have a right to exclusive possession. So that should make a, the, op the potential opportunity much simpler for people to access. So a specific example of where the legal issues might intersect and cause some difficulty is where you have pastoral land and non-exclusive native title. So where those rights are shared in land, there is an issue as to, I guess, who can access or own the carbon rights and therefore undertake carbon projects on that land. And I guess the position the Commonwealth's had to date is because that's a state responsibility, it's difficult for us to decide and mediate the outcome of that process. A further difficulty with that is that the different state carbon acts are different, and in some cases, native title holders are able to access uh, carbon rights under those regimes, and in some cases they're not. So that's also a point of contention about clarifying exactly who can apply for the carbon rights. In many cases in Australia, the land that's owned by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people tends to be more remote, where the, where the land is more marginal and there's less carbon potential. So the opportunities are going to be more niche in terms of how they are realised, but there are certainly are some possibilities. For example, we have developed that savanna fire management methodology which has broad application across the north of Australia. There is further work being undertaken for feral animal management in terms of, for example, both things like camels and feral pigs. The department also has a fund to help develop methodologies that are more specific to Indigenous land. One of the proposals that's been made is for is to develop a methodology for bush foods or enrichment in conjunction with doing a sequestration project. And so that's, some, that's certainly an area where we're putting some effort into seeing if, if a methodology can be developed. But our goal, I guess, is to try and make sure there are some effective, sustainable projects which get up and running early on in the process so they can provide an example and lead the way and make it easier for other groups to follow by, by utilising their learnings. And I think that's the way we can probably develop the most potential from, from this sector and make sure that the Carbon Farming Initiative is something that can really add to that land management suite of activities which Indigenous Australians have really come forward a lot in the last little while with the development of the Caring for Country ranger groups and a real land management capacity across the country.